So the thing that we're going to look at here is the breadcrumbs. So I see that I have some errors in my tree right here. Now, if I click on one of the components that's red, I do get my context menu, but you also see up here, right here, what are called breadcrumbs. So that also happens when you click on a component. If I click right here, you'll see those breadcrumbs at the very top. Now, the D key, the letter D on your keyboard is a shortcut to get that to the end of your mouse. And one of the reasons for uh, using breadcrumbs is to explore errors or access features and different options within. So right now we've selected the face of a component. I've got my feature that belong or created that face. I've got the sketch for the feature. And all of these breadcrumbs, you can right click on them and get the associated context options that you would if we were right clicking here. So we can keep moving. This is the body within that part file. This is the part. And you notice these contexts change here. These are the primary planes and origin of the part file. And then here you could see the bounding box. These are options for the whole assembly uh, in itself. But if we click closer to the part, we can see the related mates to that part. And I can make a decision as to how I want to fix those mates. So I can click right here, edit my mate right from the context menu as well. Okay. And perhaps this is a bad mate, perhaps, or it needs a new reference, or perhaps it's just over defining. Well, we can choose what we want to do with it. And in this case, we're just going to go ahead and delete it. And for components that are mated, you can always access this folder, which only shows up in assemblies right beneath the component. This shows the assembly mates that have been made to this part. And I can come in, I can right click and delete that if that's going to be the resolution. And in this case, it is. So other reasons for using this tool, we can open up a part file really quick and we can use it for accessing sketches. So again, you hit the D key and these breadcrumbs will come right up. I can click on the sketch, I can edit that sketch as needed. Very easy to do, very easy to get in and out. So that is just an example of breadcrumbs in two different environments.